I actually it happened in Delaware. It happened uh, about 20 minutes of Ocean City. That's where we were going. My birthday was October 15th, and I got in my car accident uh, October 31st. So two weeks after I turned 17. And then I was too, I was paralyzed, you know, like they told me that there's no way in the world that I will walk again. What is your favorite word? What is my favorite word? My favorite word is love. What is your least favorite word? My least favorite word is uh, light. If my mom was not be there, um, I didn't. I, I, I didn't think that I wanted to live because I always was so energetic. So energetic. There was always so many things going on in my life, and I was always playing tennis, playing sports, playing games. That I was like me in the wheelchair. There's no way. I mean, there's no way I could live like that. And but knowing that my mom is there, and I'm the only. Basically, I'm the only thing in her life. That, she, uh, that I cannot take this responsibility. I'm responsible for her in this case, and that's basically what saved me. It's amazing. With a bling of an eye, you finally see the light. But you know what? It's all a facade. All his charm and charisma, his wealth, his expensive toys. He is a driven, unflinching, calculating machine. He takes what he wants, when he wants, and disappears. Relax, Stanley. I really enjoyed growing up in Moscow. I have a very close family and uh, we traveled a lot. That was our most favorite thing to do is camping and being outdoors, playing tennis, being active. Um, my parents always took me everywhere we went. We have a big, big, funny dog. His name is Archibald and uh, he's like my baby. And um, the life there was really good. It uh, was, I traveled a lot of outside of the country. I went to Japan, to Germany, to Switzerland, to England. So it, I was not locked into the country as a lot of people would think. I don't think that uh, culture really matters uh, for personality. It's uh, because human relationships are relationships uh, anywhere in the world versus it's going to be Russia or England or France or America or Japan or Africa. It's about the two people communicating with each other and finding, finding the common ground and common basis for a good and a healthy relationship versus a cult a cultural differences. We have a very efficient system of operations at BITS because we have all of our operations under the same roof. We ship out about 4,000 orders a day and we ship out about 8,000 pieces a day. The reason we can upload so many items in our auction daily and can send so many shipments daily is because our system is extremely efficient and we're really good at what we do. Здрасте, Наташа, очень приятно с вами вновь встретиться. Здрасте, Дима, мне тоже очень приятно. Спасибо. Вот и рыбки тоже нашли. Все довольно-таки просто. И в этом есть наш секрет, секрет нашего успеха. Все зависит от того, как мы закупаем эти товары. Продать целиком партию нашей компании за цену чуть больше, чуть превышающую стоимость самих материалов. What are you doing here? What am I doing here? I'm enjoying uh, Natalia's birthday party. I gave her a wish her happy birthday. And she's a beautiful girl, she's great. And she does great parties. I came to the United States when I was 16 years old. I came as a change student to University of Maryland. And uh, after I graduated, I moved to California 
and I worked in modeling business and then I worked as a director of marketing and PR for the largest online jewelry auction in the world, uh, Bits.com. And then I moved to New York, which is where it's the beginning of this year. We really cater to, um, uh, like we, we want to make sure that we do everything to please the client. Whatever the request they have, we'll go, we'll jump over our overheads to make it happen. I have great staff. I mean, I have amazing people working for me. They're very detail oriented, very precise. Um, and we just, uh, we actually can make pretty much anything come true, any dreams come true. Exotic drinks, beautiful people, and outstanding service are the ingredients for a success formula for Exquisite Plenty LLC. Party in New York is the top of the line, man. Top of the line. This business consists of actually connections because you cannot make this um, business happen the way I'm doing it without the connection. I mean, being a playmate, I have a lot of celebrity friends uh, who are always invited to attend my events, and of course, that attracts a lot of people because they get actually to hang out and party with a very famous, a lot of famous people, um, as well as uh, just entertainment world in general. You know, like I have uh, friends in press and magazines, and of course, it helps. The Sopranos' big pussy showed off his big heart last night in New York City. And New York knows that the good stuff is always extra. Vincent Pastore was joined by Playboy playmate Natalie Sokolova for a late summer night's dream celebrity gala, all to help raise money for the charity Best Buddies. Uh, I'm an executive board for Best Buddies Foundation, which is Kennedy Shriver Foundation, and I help them do their events. Um, but also, eventually, I would like to have my own foundation focusing on helping teenagers with disabilities um, because I almost died in a car accident and uh, had to overcome everything. And I really want to help them because if it was not for my mother, there's no way I could have made it. I, I feel like I'm really blessed because um, I can, I have a capability of helping a lot of other, uh, a lot of people, and actually can feel that I can make a difference in their lives. Uh, do you know the Natalia Sakalova? That's the first, I met her last week. She was on my radio show on Sirius. Right. And I love her. She's a beautiful Russian girl. Well, when you have a beautiful girl such as this leading the way, I don't see any reason for it to fail. Yes, the, the goal uh, is like everybody's company's goal, just to grow and to be the best. Natalia was born and raised in the former USSR. She was educated in the U.S. And she's here trying to raise financing for project. What project has you the most excited? Well, I think the very interesting one is the project that has to do with the casing head gas. And this is the equipment. So you can see it's very portable. You put it next to the oil well, and instead of all the gas being burned up, it's being condensated into the pipeline and then taken into either trucks or railroads, whatever is available and you can sell it to the international market. So it's a byproduct of oil production, yeah. is that what it is? Oil companies have no use for it. Also, it's uh, reducing the emissions, making it a green project as well. So your technology is, is the conversion process? Uh, primarily, yes. I think that would work pretty well. Mm -hmm. I've got to get you to sell my projects. You're relentless. Yeah. <laughs>